Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Gold. When we last logged off, we had just went to... Eh, I don't remember the city name. What else is now? Um, the town with the lighthouse. And we, uh... Talked to Whitney, the gym leader, who has a sick Pokemon. We went over to... What was it? Sin... Sin... Uh, Sinawood Island? I don't remember the name. Uh, we got the medicine, and we fought Chuck, the gym leader, over at the Sinawood I uh, City. And we travel back, but um, today is Friday, when, which is when a certain Pokemon appears at this cave, and it's uh, I I want to say dark cave, but I know it's not it. Um, the cave that separates uh, Azela is. Is that a town? And uh, the first gym. Uh, but I mentioned this three episodes ago where on Fridays you can see a Lapras in here. Well, since today is Friday inside my game, uh, we are going to go find this Lapras. And once again, I probably should have bought some pals. Ay, ay, ay. And also, like I said uh, in the last episode, or at least I hope I said it, uh, I was gonna do some off screen grinding, which I did. And to actually kind of say, I was mistaken on the fact that I do take the. A uh, little tunnel up there. You actually come down here and take this tunnel. The tunnel that is up uh, upwards. That one actually leads you to. Uh, what is it? Uh, the Pokemon Runes. That's what it was. Uh, yeah. Those. That one leads to, to Pokemon Runes. Which, what was it? Uh, which I'm not gonna do quite yet, so that's why I'm not gonna go this way. But, uh, there are trainers in the way, so you do have to battle, uh, this one trainer if you want to get to, uh, the Lapras. So, to keep that in mind and I really probably should not have uh, had uh, you know out <laughs> all right sauna let's show him what we got her yeah cause I definitely want to keep uh what did I name my scythe there again Crap. Um. Man, not that's gonna bother me. Hmm. Oh, yeah. But either way, I want to keep my scepter alive just so I can use, uh. It's not pursued, uh. False white. False swipe doesn't even sound right, but I think that's what it was. Uh, full swipe to keep Lapras alive. So I don't knock it out. <laughs> I'd rather pet my babies in this. Then why are you guarding Lapras? That is what I want to know. Yeah, but if you come over here, you'll see the Lapras actually moving around. Ichigo, that's what he... Yeah, uh, what I named it. Yeah, but, uh, you only get one shot to do this at, I think, per
per week. So if you don't want to wait for another week to pass by, you might want to save your game and uh, before you fight the Lapras. Well, what was it? Um. No, it was false swipe. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a little bit. <laughs> oh well, at least slappers can't kill me. Or at least I'm hoping not. I think that was the last hit. All right, now we're gonna use our. Oh yeah, let's to come to uh, Azalo Town to get the fastball that uh, Kurt made me. Yeah, screw it. Let's use the fastball. <laughs> Even though I probably should uh, use the fastball for like that fast Pokemon, possibly the legendary dogs. <laughs> All right, there we go. Caught the Lapras. <laughs> Transport. That seems so crude. Many have been caught. Their number have dwindled. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to be using Lapras. Whatsoever through the let's play, so I'll, um, I'm not gonna give uh, Lapras a nickname. So let's go back to uh, where we were. Hold on, is there any cave coming up that I don't want to do? That's not hard. Um, yeah. I can't really think of any, so I'm just gonna use it to save time. But, I'm gonna move Yuno know, back to lead. Oh, and I also did get a charcoal from the. Uh, the little kid that lost the Farfetch from the Elix Forest. If you go back to the house, talk to the assistant, uh, the assistant, he'll give you a charcoal that he made because of uh, how he lost it and you found the Farfetch for him. But either way, we are going to come back here and continue doing what our original plan was, which was to give Jasmine the secret potion, I think it was. <laughs> so we're just going to move on our happy little way. Not really going to have to worry about any of these trainers since I came up here and wiped them completely out. <sighs> All right. And let's talk to Jasmine. Nope, we'll poison him. Oh, I am offended. It is not my Pokemon yet. It should take the damn stuff from me. Yeah, I really don't care. <sighs> yep, she just walks off screen and then she mysteriously disappears. Lovely, isn't it? But either way, now we're going to be going on to her gym to take Jasmine on. 
because huh oh well, why the hell not I mean that's uh next place we can only go then again we could actually go to the lake of rage and do that whole shenanigans but and yeah, that's shenanigans yeah I really don't even know why I'm saying that either way we come to this gym no other trainers but Jasmine and in actuality, for some reason, I am kind of worried because <laughs> for some reason, I don't think <laughs> I might not be ready for this, but I guess one way to find out and see. <sighs> no, no, you can't. But yes, like Jasmine said, she is a steel gym leader. And like she said, steel has only just been discovered. Although some of the Pokemon might have been around since the first generation. But hey, we're not going to say anything. Especially that Magnemite. And what was it? <laughs> Uh, seal Pokemon are weak to fire, so that is one reason I wanted to use uh, you know. And if you do have a fire Pokemon out, you might want to watch out because she will probably use a Steelix right after. And Steelix is her strongest Pokemon, and probably most deadliest. But hey. Yeah, and that's about the only other thing you should really have to watch out for is if you're using uh, Fire Pokemon is because, well, they're uh, Steelix and a Fire Pokemon kind of kill each other off. Yeah, but that was actually easier. I had really thought that maybe our Silix would probably take me out, but I guess not. Yep, but next up is Magnemite, so we're probably going to be good. <laughs> Since I don't believe her Magnemite's going to stand up, especially if our Silix going to take two hits. For some reason, I think that Charcoal actually helps more than I probably realize. The rules I can fur upon this badge. The mineral badge. I don't think it's rock throw. I wanna say steel steel tail. Oh, uh, Iron Tail. Wrong thing completely. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, um, our next, our next destination is going to be the Lake of Rage. But I'm going to come to the Pokemon Center to see all my Pokemon really fast. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Uh, sorry guys. I just felt like being weird. Alright. So, as you can see, there's a guy standing in front of the gym. Uh, wait, I think I actually talked to him in one of my, one of my videos. But he's just checking out the Leg of Rage. And that's going to trigger a whole set of events. So, I am pretty much going to go to the Lake of Rage, but leave that stuff until the next episode because uh, I do not want to make another long video. And I really mean that in all senses of the word of a long video. Because... Uh, just because that uh, one Gyarados. 
stupid Gyarados is nowadays. Thinking they can rampage the waters and kill everyone. <sighs> okay, not killing everyone. Faints. <laughs> because in the Pokemon world, nothing dies. It just faints. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <sighs> All right. And actually, I'll probably soon even have, you know, out. All right. So, like I said, in the next episode, we're going to be taking care of the whole... Uh, like a rage, wonderful, ness, ness, ness. Either way, see you guys in the next episode when we take on that shiny Gyarados, which so happens to be red. Yeah, Red Gyarados. Woo! See you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone.